Hi and welcome to Sash TV. My name is Belen Bass and this is what's going on for you. This is your six month read and I have a couple more after you. Let's just go ahead and begin. Okay. We're going to start right there from the top of the reading. The cards are talking about this finance change that's coming in for you. I do see that uh, you're going to be celebrating something new with work and career. I do see that you have been having a good time. Something that you were thinking about somebody, you let somebody go or you cut them off, okay? And with this, you're thinking about finances. I also see where you're traveling towards keeping your eyes on some type of new direction. You're going back and forth in your mind about something, but right now you're kind of done with any endings. It's like you're you're slipping out of something and slipping into something or you're easily, you're trying to find a way to get away from something without actually having to speak about it in relationships. <laughs> I see that you're worried about the I see that you are uh you are kind of worried about the relationships right now. Relationships are your worry. I see you communicating with someone that has some inner sadnesses. For some reason, you're you're sad about somebody. There's a relationship that you're feeling sad about or there's someone that you're about to communicate with that maybe you had a broken heart with or maybe someone hurt you. Uh, that's what's currently coming up, uh, deciding how you feel about someone. Because I see you slipping out of it and you're like, okay, I'm done with it, whatever, whatever, whatever. Work's going good. Something's going good with this. Something just happened good. It's going to happen good. And, or maybe something went good between you and them and maybe the ending is over, but you're going to slip back into this person. You feel something for someone, okay? Because I see some type of sadness. It's like you go straight to them, okay? So that's your number one, okay? So this is your number two. So this is the number two. And when it comes down to the, yeah, you're traveling towards some type of new responsibility, uh, maybe some new relationship, maybe some new person, uh, maybe some something new. You're traveling towards something new with relationships. I see double the communication with you and someone. It's like you're kind of being lazy right now currently, but money is on your mind, okay? I see you. I just see you going towards somebody, uh, just trying to slip away from something that you feel about someone. That's what it's saying here, and it's also talking about you wanting to be in a committed. Here we go again. You're feeling bad for some. Maybe you're feeling bad for someone that's less fortunate than you than that you like. Maybe your heart is going out to someone you think is less fortunate than that you like. I do see changes. I see a happier time coming in, but at the same time, I'm still seeing this blockage. I'm still seeing how you feel, and I see how you truly feel, and I'm seeing what you want to happen. And right now, it's like, yeah, I feel this, but I ain't trying to move to the next level. That's in love, period. That's in love, period. It's not just towards them. It's in love, period. But you're back and forth with that. For one day, you're feeling good about them. Next day, you're trying to slip out. One day, you're going to slip out, and this day, you're with them. But at the end of the day, finances is really looking good, and you're struggling with some type of feeling towards someone. Here's your number three. This computer is still loading. Okay, and with your number three, exploration is in your mind. Exploration, uh, I do feel like, see, here we go again. You're going to be going right back to the same situation again uh, because you feel like even though it's ended that you have feelings for them. Even though something has ended, in, even though some type of communication has ended, you still have feelings for them. And at the same time, an old past relationship could have surfaced and you really, and it's really purging you. It's really purging you and you're mixing those feelings with someone that you like. Either way, it could go. Uh, all of a sudden, communication with what you think and how you feel. Owning relationships. Owning relationships. Once again, this relationship is in your cards again. How you feel about this person. You feeling sorry for somebody or something. You feeling bad for somebody or something, but you're going to you're going to be patient here. There's something with patience and moving forward with someone that has all these responsibilities. I see a kinder space. It's like you're trying to go after something sneaky. You see what I'm saying? OK, I feel this. but I'm going to ooze around and see. It's just it's like you're trying to trick yourself out of being with someone. You care about someone and you're feeling bad about someone. Maybe they have financial issues. Maybe it's more of what you're feeling for someone else. You're fighting something really bad. You're fighting this situation so bad, and it keeps coming up every time. And and I hear Libra. 
Uh, I'm sorry to tell you that. That's what I heard is with this Libra. Uh, okay, let's my computer just loading on its own. So here's your number four. So if you're dealing with any kind of air sign, I'm going to say it, there's something to explore there if you want. You keep trying to fight it and it keep coming back up to you. And you keep coming up with excuses. Okay, here we go. Okay, and so here's your number four, and here's your number four. Worry, 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 worry. I show some type of, uh, if you, some kind of essence of, of closing something off. Maybe if I could block myself off, then maybe I wouldn't want to communicate. Now you're gonna be communicating again, and you and this person's gonna get on the same page, even though you still have stuck in your head what has ended, or you have stuck in your mind this has ended. But you're still going to be communicating with them. You're still going to be trying to make decisions. You're going to be watchful of things. You're not going to overstep your boundaries with a situation. I think you decide to give this situation some type of a degree, a level of opening up to see what's going to happen. You're going to give this some type of chance, but you're not going to open up all the way. But you're just going to give it just a little bit something, especially with this finance thing going on. Okay? You do care about them for some reason. You care about somebody, but you feel bad for them because they're having financial problems. What is going on? You just keep showing it over and over again. Money's good for you, but you have a heart for somebody. He's coming up over and over again. You're going to have to break down and talk to the person. You're going to have to break down and do this heavy in your cards. That's sweet of you, though, to feel so feel a certain way about somebody for the less fortunate. But that's, you know, that's <clears throat> that's okay. I just see you approaching someone different. Uh, uh, someone, I just see it's like I must approach. First, you were so mad about it. You were so upset about it. And you wasn't going to deal with it no more. And then you decide you want to deal with it. And then you was like this, you know, this money and this and that and that. I feel sorry for them. And it could be somebody that you have feelings for. Okay, here's the number five. You're going to get in. You guys are going to talk. And you also, you guys are gonna also talk about finances. I see that you're kind of coming into more understanding with this individual after you think about whatever it is that you guys talk about. You do want to go to the next level with this individual, but you don't want the judgment to be on it. Okay. You don't want the judgment to be on it. I do see more money coming in for you around that fifth month. It could be something that you just obtained. But before then, you just keep studying your mind how this was over or how it happened and the responsibilities. If this happens between us, will it be over? Will we get to a point to where everything's good and then it'll be over? Because initially, we probably really didn't get along. Or there was some type of discrepancy between uh, me and this individual. It shows from the one to the fifth that you have feelings for someone and you're in fear. That's all it is. And you're in fear. And But you're very responsible about your fear. You're bringing up pointers. And those things that you are rethinking in a relationship. It's like you want to get away from them. But you got something for them. Maybe you feel sorry for them. Maybe there is something about them that you just can't get away from. But some kind of reason your heart is going out to someone that you're going to kind of give a chance to. And then when you give them that chance, you're going to be very nervous about everything. You don't want things to fall apart and fast. This is your last month. And going into your last month, the changes that you want is going to be that communication with that individual. It looks like whatever is going on with that individual, that it improves. Mm-hmm. That it improves. There is some type of ending with someone, too. It keeps talking about these endings with someone, moving past something, trying to move past something. This could be with a past mate. I don't know, but... Uh, it's a whole bunch of things going on. There's ins and outs in your cars. There's ins and outs and then things not being spoken. So you don't, you're not really good with communication. So it's going to, your reading is going to flip like that when that communication is kind of, okay. So that's good. The thing that's on your money is uh, right now is <clears throat> income and love. You're going to shoot straight for, you, I see you restless here. You're going to be, you're going to be in your mind a lot. You're going to be going about how you feel about things. You're going to give this person a chance. You're going to give them a chance twice. And you're going to see how things change between you and this individual. It's going to develop if you give it a chance. Uh, don't use the excuses in order to, to, to try to guard your life. If you want something, definitely you need to go after it. Whoever this person is, if I were you, right now, you're really not going to do it. You're just going to just kind of 
fade into kind of walking off without telling the person, but something's going to bring you back to your feelings. And it's going to develop real slow. At the, in the meantime, it seems like it could be a past thing, and that is the reason why you can't move on this thing that you have these feelings for. It could be you that's feeling a certain way, and this individual may be having financial problems or stability problems but seeing that those excuses are there it's going to bounce off to this other person so what if you're getting over something that's keeping you from moving from someone else it's you that's keeping you from it and i do understand the issues that you're having in your mind about the build up of the relationship uh, is someone meant for you in these cards i just see you being confused about what to choose god bless you